Maybe this is a new dawn in the age of digital video scholarship in humanities. But if so, what exactly are we waking to? So thinking about um, video blogging scholarship uh, in really two ways. Uh, first, specifically in terms of blogging, you don't see a lot of um, retcomp video blogs. In fact, I don't know of any, so if anyone knows of any, I'd be interested to take a look at what that person is doing. Um, a couple of obvious reasons for why that would be the case. One is that uh, you know, we're pretty textual uh, species, I think, in the humanities, we're comp folk, uh, and so probably more predisposed to writing than the uh, average person, for sure. Um, secondly, there's the, all the technical hurdles, I guess, to overcome in, in getting the camera and learning how to do the editing and, and all that kind of business. And uh, third, getting used to just the idea of um, being in front of a camera and um, doing the work of, of uh, performance. <coughs> and I guess with blogging, at least for me, it's got to be relatively simple. If it's not simple, then I'm not going to do it. Now, I find the question of digital scholarship, more formally speaking, uh, in our field to be an interesting one. And I really have a hard time imagining uh, what it will ultimately come to look like. I mean, we've all seen uh, in the History Channel or Discovery, and so it's easy to imagine a sort of academic uh, documentary style film. And so I suppose in some ways that would be the genre that we would be responding to. Of course, we can always imagine Michael Wesch's The Machine is Using Us as an example of a successful scholarly video. But really, how far are we going to get in that short video YouTube format? Is that really the future of uh, digital scholarly video in humanities or social sciences? I somehow doubt it. Or maybe it's just a matter of wandering about, of uh, seeing what happens, of being willing to uh, take a risk and maybe look a little bit silly or something. I'm all for the idea of envisioning digital video as a kind of empty playground where we might be able to uh, take some risks and experiment, but uh, we can't be certain that people will take those experimentations seriously. And even experiments, uh, serious ones, will require a fair amount of financial support. And, and yet it's hard to imagine that the average piece of scholarship is going to have the kind of budget that it would take to produce a film of that level of quality. So. Um, Assuming that the budgets for uh, producing scholarship in rhetoric and composition are not going to change drastically, then uh, what level of video production do we think we're actually going to be able to undertake? And given that constraint, uh, what is it that we're going to be able to do with it?